Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. I do sneaker reviews, not on mo not on like your most popular sneakers, but I just do it on you know pretty unique ones that I don't see in stores and like only online exclusives. So today I picked up this one from uh, Nike.com. It took about a few days, like three days I would say, for it to ship out. Three business days that is, and uh, it was a good deal. Um, so I couldn't afford to lose it, but uh, basically. These are the Nike Cortez uh, Latino Heritage, and uh, yeah, so let's see, let's see how they look. Let's see if they are up to par to how they look online. Um, I haven't seen any reviews on these online at all. I'm not sure if it's because people just don't have interest in Nike Cortez as they used to do back in the day, like back in the early 80s to late 90s. But uh, anyways, here's a box. Your traditional. You know, modern day Nike box. Pretty lightweight also. There's the shipping info just to let you guys know it's legit. Yep, there it is. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, here's the box. Make, making sure you guys see that's legit. There it is. Nike Cortez Basic LHM QS. That stands for Latino Heritage Month. It's a 9.5 9 size. Um, and yeah, there's the Nike logo, the swoosh. So let's get started. Basically, it comes with this nice looking Latino uh, Heritage Month uh, string bag. Pretty nice. I've never seen this, to be honest, in any of the Nike Cortezes that I personally order. Then again, I've never ordered any limited release. But it has like the Latino type colors. It has a like a teal green up there and then a bright neon orange there with the nike swoosh and latino heritage month on it so yeah the inside is pretty basic it's like a regular you know a regular uh string bag so that's pretty cool i did not expect that at all uh, and the wrapping is pretty much the same but if she can here get closer to the camera so you see that you see the lines the design on them that's to mimic, you know, Latino heritage culture, like in the Aztec tombs and all those uh, sculptures that they have. That's all that's mimicking. This one's a lot thicker too. This paper wrapping is thicker than this first one, so that's pretty interesting. But uh, anyways, here it is, guys. The Nike Cortez um, LHM Latino Heritage Month. Very cool material. This I will describe it as like a mixture of suede and velvet. Very cool looking. As you pass your finger through it, it switches color. Not color, but like, you know, you can see it move around. Um, the bottom, look at this. Very cool. I like how it's catching on camera where you can see it's very like gummy. Kind of like that toothpaste and it's see-through and it has those patterns in the middle, those uh, diamond patterns. So uh, it feels very soft to be honest. This is not necessarily white. It's like kind of like a creamish color, um, and that's just to represent, you know, that Latino heritage culture and complement this, the Nike Cortez 1972. This is embroidered on there. That's a good thing about it. This material is again another like suede, velvety material. Goes down all the way to the mid shoe right here. This is nylon right here. On the mid shoe, the the Nike swoosh is a you know mixture of uh, suede and velvety material. Very cool looking. Um, on the tongue, again, that nylon in the back with the suede Nike swoosh. Um, very cool looking. Um, and it came with these. These are just uh, shoelace strappers that go right here. If you don't want the black ones, you can change them up. You know, every time you go out. We'll definitely be considering that. Um, if I wear them, I might not wear them just because they're really rare. Um, you can still probably find these only at Nike.com if you're interested where you can find them. Um, and yeah, shipping was free, so that's a bonus. This is all embroidered on there. I've never seen that in a Nike uh, Cortez shoe. That's why I really bought it. Um, there's that teal greenish color, dark blue with the yellow. Um, this is a bright neon orange. This is like a teal color again, and then this is like a light greenish color. And it goes all, uh, the whole pattern all throughout the swoosh. It's all embroidered on there. It's pretty cool looking. The inside, if you, sh if you can zoom in on it. Mm, the 
lighting's a little bad. But anyways, the inside it has the Nike logo in it. Um, has all those different uh, shapes and colors, you know, to represent Latino Heritage Culture Month. Um, very cool overall. Very nice shoe. Um, definitely like satisfied with it. Actually, I I didn't have such high expectation for these, but they went overboard with this. Very cool looking, especially the bottom. Look at that bottom. When have you ever seen that on Nike Cortez? I mean, look at that. Very cool. Do not regret getting these. Um, and then the other shoe, just the same thing, you know, same thing, basics, you know, that icy bottom, embroidered swoosh, that embroidered, uh, Nike Cortez 1972, inside is also the same, LHM, oh, this one says LHM, the other one said Nike, look at that, it says, hold on, give me a second, guys, see that LHM, Latino Heritage Month, very cool. So I guess there is a different, the right shoe is going to say LHM. Um, and yeah, it has all those different colors and shapes. Very nice looking. Um, again, they went overboard with this and it was very cheap. You can still find this for a steal. Um, and yeah, so hit the, give me a big thumbs up if you like this review. I try to keep it as simple as I can. I don't want to go overboard with, you know, giving you guys the details of each material. You know, I just kind of, whatever I think it is, it's what it is. But uh, let me know if you guys like this video and if you guys want me to do more videos on this. I, I, I don't necessarily do the most popular shoes like say a new Jordan comes out or a new Yeezy. I don't necessarily do those because those are shoes hard, really hard to get, you know, and raffles and, you know, it's just really hard to get hold of those shoes sometimes. So I do the rare, you know, like not so popular shoes like Nike, Nike Dunk shoes, um, Vans, Nike Cortez, just anything that's, you know, under the radar but still really nice. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one, and stay tuned for new videos. Um, this is a new channel I started. Um, this is my second channel, and I like to do shoe reviews because I order so many shoes on a weekly basis. So, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.